Hello, I'm Kate Humble and I'm here in Beijing for China Icons. 2016 is the year of the monkey. We're coming up to Chinese New Year, a very, very important time of year in the Chinese calendar. Probably the biggest celebration on earth, I should think. I am trying to uh, understand and to experience uh, the many traditions and cultures uh, that go with Chinese New Year. This seems to be the time of year that it's really important to be with your family. And in modern China, families have become much more disparate and much more split up. Um, you know, people have left the countryside and gone to cities for work. And so it's a time of tremendous movement um, with people traveling all these vast distances all over the country to be together for New Year. I love the idea of red being the sort of celebratory colour, that this being a time of year of luck and joy, that how you behave at this time of year, um, that if you get your ceremonies right, that somehow you can have a hand in your fate over the next 12 months. There's a lot um, that I'm beginning to learn about how important it is to remember ancestors. To go to temples, to, uh, to remember your ancestors, to offer things to your ancestors. I love that connection between the living and the dead. Um, and it's a celebration, it seems to me, of the people who've, who've kind of made you, who've, who, who are part of your past. They're suddenly brought back into the present, and I love that idea. The world, through the internet and social media and all those sort of things, has shrunk. But it still makes me really happy that you can get on a plane, fly for 12 hours, which really isn't that long in the great scheme of things, and come to somewhere that is still so different. We haven't become a homogenized world, and that at the moment is the thing that I'm going to take away from China, the thing that I find uh, so exciting about it, is that it is a country very much with its own identity. I know China, through its modernization, has seen great improvements in, in a lot of people's standards of living, and that can only be celebrated. But I hope that China holds on to the things that, for me as a foreigner, make it so very special.